Hey boys and girls, I hope y'all are doing well today. We have been learning a little bit on Monday and Tuesday about goods and services. Um, we learned that a good is something that people want or need. Um, it's something that you can actually hold or touch. Maybe um, a business uh, produces maybe fidget spinners. Like in the past, all of you had a fidget spinner at one time. That was a good. Um, your playground equipment in the backyard is a good. Uh, your iPad is a good. Now, services we learned are work that people do for someone else, for their customers um, or for consumers. So y'all been learning about that. This is a picture I have here, which is gonna focus on services. Um, we'll also have some goods on the page, but I want you to take a look at it for a minute and think about what are services here. That means work that people are doing for others. So some of you might say, oh, somebody cutting your hair. That's a service, right? Um, sorry, right here. Um, a fireman putting out fire, also a service. Someone painting is a service. How about a hamburger? No, that's something you can touch and that's something that uh, someone makes for you. That is a good. A kite is also a good. A stapler is also a good. But services would be like the teacher here reading to the children. Person fixing um, a car is a service. So hopefully this will give you another picture of what services are. And goods, like we said, that would be the boots in the picture, the kite, the hamburger. Those are all goods. So go ahead and take a second and find your goods and services worksheet number one. All right, has an umbrella on the front. Let's go over our big idea together. A good is something people want or need that can be held or touched. A service is work people do for consumers. You're gonna learn more about consumers and producers this week. But we are consumers. When we go to the grocery store, when we go get our hair cut, we are the consumer. The people that are producing something, like all of our food we eat and the things that they make for us, those are producers. So we'll talk more about that in our videos and it should have been in your Brain Pop Junior videos. Okay, let's look together. Now, a service is work people do for consumers. Read your directions carefully. It says write the word that best completes each statement. Number one, a blank is work people do for consumers. It's either a good or service, and you can look above. Super easy for you. Second one, a blank is something people want or need that can be held or touched. Is it a good or a service? Look above. Now, as you move down to the big idea, there's some examples of goods and examples of services. Some examples of goods are shoes, computer, and umbrella. Examples of services, a lawyer, a cook, a pet sitter. They do work for us. Okay, on the directions, write the word that best completes each statement. Super easy, all you're doing is looking above if you need to. Now, there's a think aloud question. What are three goods a cook might need to provide his or her service. Think about a cook. I bet your parents are cooking a lot during this time. I know I sure am. All right, you're gonna go ahead and do this page. Sorry, it's so wobbly today. I don't have, um, I haven't been in the classroom uh, today. So trying to do this from home. 
Okay, your next video that you have is going to talk about our goods and services project, which is gonna be exciting. So right now, go ahead and finish this paper. You have um, a worksheet two to complete also. So y'all can do this after you complete this. So y'all have a wonderful day.